What's up everybody? Joker 1014 is back. We're going to do a quick, quick, quick um, update on the Drango. I know I posted a video earlier about how it was my first time ever spraying clear coat and we're going to uh, how it was my first time ever spraying clear coat. I never sprayed clear coat before in my life except for one time back in the career center. That was the only time I ever done it. So hold on, I'm trying to pick up my hose here. Alright. So, my first time ever spraying clear coat, I think I did a crappy job, but everybody else thinks I did a good job, so we will see what your guys' opinion is. I, like I said, it's the crappiest ever. Um, I don't like how the passenger side came out. I think it was because I rushed through it, and plus, I did it how my grandpa used to do it back in the, uh, back in the 50s and 60s when he wanted to paint a car when he didn't have a garage he did it outside in his driveway in the heat so I think that had a little bit of play to it the way I did it so um, like I said tell me what you guys think leave a, a comment in the comment section uh, I bet you I get a billion of people saying it looks like crap and it sucks but hey for someone who sprayed it the very first time ever spraying clear coat like I said I've painted cars before I painted a lot of cars before with my grandpa I've done a lot of body work with my grandpa it's just I should have took this one down to bare metal on the passenger side because I think this truck's been hit once on this passenger side but other than that um, we will start on the driver's side so here we go as you can see at the top it looks like it needs more clear from here up and across and a little bit down in front of the pillar but from here down looks awesome looks great looks real good the hood is coming off and getting a new hood put on so I really didn't care what the hood looked like it's getting a aftermarket hood but I think it looks okay. Like I said, there's a little bit of ripples right here. I don't know. Like I said, I should have took it down to bare metal and just started with fresh panel, if that makes sense. But for someone who's ever sprayed clear coat for their first time, like you can even see me in the in the vehicle. It's pretty pretty cool there uh, the door handles will get repainted same with the mirrors the mirrors will get repainted uh, the truck is a midnight blue it kind of looks green it's kind of cool it looks green but there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, sparkle in it lot of sparkle uh, metal flake there's a lot of metal flake in it not big pieces but but for being sprayed outside it looks pretty dang good I think I think the spots it looks dull and it really don't it looks dull but you can see my reflection in it and that's what's got me confused so I don't know uh, the mixture was for the one, four to one, but 
it must be old whatever the paint is underneath like I sanded the whole truck down I sanded the whole truck completely down and primered it sanded it did a little bit of body work here and there and uh, just kind of filled in the dicks the nicks and dings and stuff that car doors hit or rock chips or whatever filled it all in and as you can tell there was a bunch of rock chips in this area and there was a big ass mark right here where someone like backed into it or or turned coming out of a parking spot and put a big old scratch clear down to bare metal i got all that out so it's not like i can't do body work it's just for someone that's spraying clear i don't understand and i show you guys what clear i used i used it from napa but it is the cheaper cheaper stuff it's not expensive it's not high gloss or anything like that it's cheap um it's not super expensive so it's that stuff there you know multi max clear so it's not like you know it's not like it's not clear you know what i mean so either i mixed it wrong but it's four to one so that's what i mixed it as four to one but like i said this side came out looking nice beautiful on this side but but like i said it's kind of dull see in in the camera it, you can see the shininess it's just not as shiny than it is you know it's shinier down here than up here so i don't i don't know i might throw some more clear on it i might throw some more clear on it but it does kind of look cool in a way because it kind of goes from a like a a dull look down to a shiny look it's kind of cool in a way because you don't see too many vehicles like that i'm definitely going to re-hit this back here definitely going to hit the hatch because there's definitely dull spots but for being outside doing it outside in the in the outside and not in the garage but when i get a house with a garage i'm hoping to have a house by next summer with a garage where i can uh where i can um see on camera it looks good just got some dull spots here and there but it looks good on camera but uh when i get a house hopefully by next summer with a garage what i will do is um i will uh take this truck and and uh strip it have someone uh sandblast the whole truck clear down to bare metal and just restart all over again and paint it back see this side kind of looks green but it's actually blue now if i stood back there where the trailblazer is it definitely looks blue but when you get this close to it, it kind of looks like a greenish color it's got a little flip-flop to it it's kind of cool because when when you're up to it you know it looks green it's just dirt and stuff all over the front end but yeah when you're when you're uh for some odd reason this fender if you look right here i'm gonna have to touch that up definitely gonna have to touch that up because this fender it's got a nice gap all the way down from top to bottom there's a nice gap but I guess when you open the door, I never knew this on the other color, the silver, when it was silver, I never even noticed it. But the gap looks beautiful all the way down. The hood's cracked. I, I got the hood cracked, so the hood's not all the way down. But from here all the way down to the bottom, it's got a perfect gap. I got the tape measure out, and it's reading all the way down perfectly the same all the way but when you open the door it hits the fender right there 
and I have no clue why. So I even, I was thinking about maybe pulling the fender forwards a little bit just to see. But like I said, this truck must have been hit at some point because the paint that I sanded off of it, there was another color. There was two other colors underneath this before I even painted it. There, there was um, a blue. There was a green, a hunter green almost like that but hunter green this is this is chrysler midnight blue this is midnight blue right here it looks green but it's actually blue but uh but at the same time the reason why it looks like that looks kind of greenish is because for the simple fact i use light or i just use gray primer i didn't use black primer gray primer made it look like this if i use black primer it would definitely came out blue more like a bluish color like uh let's see let's see how it came out like a bluish color because that's got black primer on it i did black primer all the way around the bottom it's got black primer all the way across the bottom that's all black primer from here from here down is black primer it looks good like it's got a shine to it it just it's just something is just i don't i don't know I don't know. Like you can see me in the reflection. You definitely can see me in the reflection. You know what I mean? There is a couple spots where I got a touch up. I don't know what happened. I don't know if someone came through last night and touched it. I don't know. But if you come over here. If you come over here, it almost looks like someone had a book bag on and walked. And they ended up hitting it here. It kind of feels like it should come out. But they ended up nicking it or hitting it when they walked through here. Because I live in town, so I'm pretty sure someone, someone, uh, nicked it with their book bag trying to walk through here because i got cameras all over my house and uh if you get if at night time it's pretty dark right here and it's, most time you can with like from here walking through here or even walking through my backyard because the light only shines out the light only shines out to about on the other side of this tree so so someone can easily walk through here like I can see the garage door plain as day on my on my cameras and I can see the truck plain as day but if someone's wearing all black all what you will see on the camera is a uh, like a shadow so I think someone tried to cut through the yard and and got it on the side it kind of it, it made me mad and over here over here I don't know what happened over here like I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera or not but over here there's a couple couple scuffs here's a scuff here's a scuff here's a scuff it almost looks like a dog jumped on it see the scratches almost looks like a dog jumped up on it and we do have dogs that run freely around this neighborhood so doing this paint job outside kind of it kind of makes me mad because nobody really cares about other people's property especially a freshly painted truck to be honest with you but you know there's a couple spots i will uh wet sand and and pull that stuff out it's not like deep there's only actually there's two 
two uh, coats of clear on this truck. There's only two coats. So I figured I can wet sand that out and uh, try to touch it up maybe. Um, maybe shoot, get those scratches out of there and maybe put some clear on it to kind of clear that door again or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I get that those scratches down. They're not in, they're on the outer layer of the last layer of the clear coat. So I still got two other layers of clear underneath it. So I think I can get it out. But anyways, I, now I just got to shine up the tires, shine up the tires and rims, do the door handles. I got black for the door handles. I got black for the mirror. Uh, the back corner panel here, the back corner panel right through here, somewhere right here. Here, I'll show you guys on this side. It might look a little bit better. But anyways, the back corner panel right here, probably from here to here, from this corner of the glass. So probably here in the middle here it's gonna say Durango and matte black with silver outlining so I think that would look cool for one so but other than that I think it did come out good like I said if anybody's got any suggestions on what happened or what I did wrong or why it kind of looks dull you know, like I said, it, see how it looks dull here? I don't know if I didn't get enough clear on it, because it's good here, or it's dull here, but it's nice and shiny right through there, and then it goes from being dull to kind of like shiny. In a way, it kind of looks kind of cool, but I think uh, tomorrow I'm going to get to get my little gun out. I've been thinking about getting my little gun out. And maybe wet sand this a little bit and then take my pad and pull those little scratches out and maybe clear this or I might just say hell with it and just clear over top of it because really there's nothing there just clean it real good and clear it so I don't know if there's something that it's in the material underneath or if i sh if it's just something that reacted to just the primer or the metal or or whatever it, it just i don't know i don't know but we're gonna fix it so i gotta get headlights i got headlights in mine but i don't know if i want to pay the 87 dollars but they're black they look pretty cool so i'm gonna get some headlights for it and I'm going to get a new grill, and then I'm going to order a hood here in a month. I'm going to order a, a hood here in a month. It's a cow hood, but it's got um, it's got a scoop here. It's almost like my S10, I like the hood on my S10. It kind of does that, but the it's just backwards. That's all. So see what I mean? See how shiny it is right there, but it's dull through here, but it's shiny here. See what I'm saying? It, it, it just don't, I don't know. I really, really, honestly don't really know what happened. I don't know if it's the material that whoever painted this, like I said, there's three different colors of paint. There's, there's blue, there's hunter green, and then silver plus you got a black primer underneath the blue and then you got regular primer underneath the hunter green no I said that backwards there's regular primer underneath the blue there's black primer underneath the hunter green and then there was just regular primer uh, underneath the silver that the truck used to be before I painted it there was silver underneath it or the primer underneath the silver 
and then I sanded the whole truck down really good and just fixed certain dings and dents and welded some holes shut on the fender where the symbols were and then I ended up primering it wet sanding it primering it again and wet sanding and then I ended up painting it so somewhere I don't know where it messed up so if you guys have any suggestions whoever watches this leave a comment down in the comment box and let me know what your guys' thoughts are like I said I think it looks good except for those couple spots that someone hit like walked up against it I don't know who and it looks like a dog jumped up on it that's what I get for painting outside but my garage ain't big enough the pull it's big enough to pull this in there but it's not big enough to pull this in there and walk around why I'm painting plus the lighting wasn't good the lighting was a lot better outside but like I said this is the first time I ever clear coated a vehicle first time ever but it's not the first time I ever painted a vehicle the paint came out beautiful it's just the clear coat came out like crap so like I said first time ever spraying clear coat and like I said before once I get a house with a garage that it's big enough that I can paint in for a big vehicle then I will take this vehicle and go and have someone professionally uh, sandblast it clear down to bare metal I will fix any dings dents or whatever and clean the metal really good primer it wet sand it primer it and then paint it and then clear it and I think it's gonna look ten times better but until then this is what it looks like I'm not worried about it I'm not embarrassed by it I think I could have probably did a little bit better job but I really think I really think it turned out really good so I still got to get the wheel wells in there I still got to paint some wheel wells get the wheel wells cleaned up and painted I'll do that tomorrow but other than that with that being said please leave a comment tell me what you guys think I think there's a lot of dirt on this I tried to wet sand the hood down a little bit today so I got I got dirt all over it today it kind of got dirty so but yeah tell me what you guys think like I said I gotta get in there in the wheel wells and paint them black uh, I think I'm gonna mix some black up and then I will pull the tire off and spray the wheel well and then I will undercoat it with some undercoating but with that being said Joker 1014 is out you guys have a good night and I will see you in the next video. Talk to you all later. Peace out.